How does this sound? Attending school in rotating shifts, social distancing on school buses. The next academic year will likely look a whole lot different than we've been used to. Channel 9 education reporter Elsa Gillis sat down one on one with the state's top educator who's figuring out how all of this would work. It's a story every parent is going to want to hear. We need to socially distance for a long time before we have a vaccine. And that means socially distancing on a school bus, socially distancing in a classroom. So we are looking at perhaps uh, some students come for two days and then do remote learning at home for two days. Other students come for two days. Uh, perhaps uh, just the people who need to come in. So remote learning uh, is a possibility in the fall in some Absolutely. form or another. Absolutely. Every, everyone should know that we are working to improve it. Uh, but if heaven forbid we have another spike, which many of the health experts are saying is a possibility, and we have to go back to remote learning, that's something we should be prepared for. No one's happy about this. I mean, this is, this is very upsetting. But it is our goal to be proactive and try to get to a better sense of normal than where we are now. One of the biggest um, things I think it, it's fair to say that we've discovered in this time is that we have some serious equity issues. Yes. They are highlighted more than ever. Do you have a figure of how many families we've not been able to reach yet? Yes, uh, we, we are concerned that it, it ranges from tens of thousands of students to uh, over 100,000 students who really fall into that category of uh, no internet connection. And that's why it's also important to get students back in the school building. So it might not be every student every day, but clearly that student would better uh, benefit from being in the physical building. Well, as a parent, I certainly have a lot of questions. I'm sure the other parents out there do as well. Um, but Elsa, there's clearly, as we're hearing, a lot more that still needs to be worked out. Oh, absolutely, Erica. And while leaders have said that the new school year will not be business as usual, I want to be very clear. Johnson said today they are in the early stages of figuring this out, and he shared one option with me today. How it would work, what students would go to school when, and how that would coordinate with sibling schedules, parent work schedules, that all would need to be figured out. Thankfully, we have the summer months to do so, and he says they're establishing a task force, and their job will be to figure out the new school year, how that would work, and also address remote learning obstacles and that equity gap. Erica? Yeah, well, believe it or not, or not a lot of kids are anxious to get back to school and to see their friends and teachers. Thank you, Elsa.